Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another exciting episode of 13 Sentinels Ages Rim. In the previous episode, we did some of. of. Uh, what was Homegirl's name? Yori Fu Fuyasaka story. Today's up to right now. We're gonna go play roulette once again and see where we're gonna go. 2100? Okay. We, the farthest was like 2064, but now we're at that, that much. Alrighty then. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. Iffy, holler, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo, I guess. Yeah. Alright, the main protagonist story. Let's see what happens in this one. We may go through the two parts once again. And we'll see what we can do. Isn't this where we left? Oh no! On top of he's got. Oh no! Amiguchi's gone missing again. Eddie's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his plane? Why not? Are we redoing this all over again? Oh yeah, almost forgot. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? Oh no! I never finished reading this. I've kind of got somewhere to be. Let's get our school bag. I forgot I had a flyer in there. So are we restarting or what? A sci-fi movie from 1950. The first in what? Yeah, we went over this stuff. Yo, we got, we got like. I saw Shibakun, a pretty creepy. She always seems to be, and then she. I can't. Who? Who are we gonna interact? That bit. Oh god, we got all these stuffs. All right, let's see where this goes. About Fuyasaka-san. I noticed she always leaves during break time. Hey, there she is. What about it? Shall we go home? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. I have plans. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Come on, quit it. Sorry, Miwa-chan. Oh, boy. Shu Amiguchi. He's dropping Sawatari. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it into, like, this entire episode. Or we're going to fit it into one hour or what's up. But there's, like, so many routes with this. Alrighty, that sack of papers. It's not the one you were looking for, but <laughs> I found a little I something else you've been wanting to see. See you, Miwa-chan. You know, Later. that Bye. hardcore foreign movie. Don't make it sound so creepy. It's, it's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you seen it already I don't really remember watching it but <sighs> I don't know maybe I did great we got more tasks now we can't go to his place every single day what if we're annoying him then let him be annoyed I still get to play his games Remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. 
I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Want to borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck. The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a... In that movie, so he... Re There's a famous scene... Released in 1977. This was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. All right, we have to pick three, one of the routes. One has to lead to Shu. He's up on Saratari and the other's conversation. I think they dip just now, so that's a big old no. Yeah, I think they dipped, so I think our only option is just to check on Shu. So let's do Don't that. Leave me here. Eh. Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Hey, hey. Let's go find where Shu is at. To the cafeteria. Oh, hey. It's the waifu. Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Huh? Oh, Juro-kun. Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh... You know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um, he's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? What was that about? Care to explain? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to imply? <laughs> this is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Oh? So we took the top route. Issues at home? Something else. Well. Whatever is that going on we'll see issues at home recall ever since that day my life's been turned upside down yo we're gonna be all over the place with this karabe's house dinner table one evening uh -huh. uh, guess i fell asleep mm, smells good Let's go check on the news. Who's that? Uh, the mother? The sister? Dinner's almost oh, wait. ready. Isn't she? Could you get the chopsticks? Isn't she? Nah. I fell asleep with the TV on. Isn't she the high schooler? The one from the future? Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. Huh? What is going on here? Hold up. That looks amazing. I usually just eat out or pick up pastries on my way home. Haven't had a home cooked meal in quite a while. That's Megumi, right? <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? So she's the problem and she's stepping on our foot? And yeah, that is the girl. You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. 
Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl... alone together? Puberty exists! Uh, are you trying to torture me? Hey, uh... We really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's... part of it. Anyway... I want you out of here by next month. Dude. If you say so. That's so dumb. Even if he does have amnesia, but still. That's so dumb. Bruh. And this is his house? Where's the grandma? And, um. Gerald Coon! Oh, what the heck? Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on. Your Granny Tamau and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god! Jiro-kun! I didn't know you cooked! <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiti-san, our classmate? Wait, no way, are you two- Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just, you know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. So this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks. See ya. Damn, it'd be your own, too. You got anything to say this, huh? You just had it in the rub us. Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. To be continued! Freeloaders! Flashback. Okay, so... Let's see... Can I go back to the options that we had? Can I just like jump cut it through? Keywords held, keywords obtained. Let so we guess. fast. He's probably thanks for making cool. We already got all this stuff. Get our school bag. Let's get the heck out. Enter the hallway. We go through there. Wait, homegirl's not here? What's this one about? I think the girls might know where he is. Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Hey, Looks this like is- they're closed for the day. Maybe I'll just go home. Well, 
More investigation, I guess. Go home? Oh, wow. That did nothing. Oh, what the heck? That's That was the result? Let me see the chart. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. interesting. He's dropping the conversation. I mean, get, just guessing how many and lo how long it will take. Actually, how how would we the battles be? So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, depending how long it is. So let's just check out this one, and then we can. Oh, what the heck! For the next assault, we will form and deploy two squads. One to launch an attack, and one on defense. Jeez, with this few people? What's the point of splitting us up? Yeah, why don't we all just gang up and beat the crap out of them? No, we need to focus on protection. The kaiju are going to try to burrow underground to attack the terminal. If they get that far, then the sentinels won't be enough to stop them. This is the only way we can stop them. We cannot allow even a single one through. If they manage to get past our defense squad, then our battle really will be over. We need to balance our priority between defense and directly neutralizing the invasion force. Fine. My place is in the offensive line. You guys just hang back and watch me kick their shit in. Your units will have a hard time dealing with aerial enemies. But, we can predict the kinds of dimos we'll be seeing in the oncoming waves. We should probably build our offensive team based on what we know they'll be up against. In battle, the strike team fights on the front lines and the defense squad intercepts the enemies. Pilots on the defense squad are positioned directly around the terminal and automatically fire with their defensive arm armaments. Pre assign the 13 pilots onto either the strike team and defense squad, select the pilot, and then assign blah blah blah. So we're we're allowed to have six, right? Well, I kind of like some of the range some of these guys have. We'll add homeboy in the squad. Let's go. Ooh. We have to fight. Let's go. I'm ready. So one. Let's go. Okay, these are the attack squads, and these are the defenders. Yeah, I can see that happening. Um. I'll put you on the bench. I think I'll be good with this. Deploy! Then we have our plan. Let's move out. Easy there, Hijiyama kun. Don't easy there, me. I'm trying to lead the charge. I just want to go over something before the battle kicks off. Let's try improving the sentinel. What a refit? Right now? Sort of. This is one of the meta systems we managed to analyze. Basically, we can use those meta chips you earn in battle. With those, we can make some serious improvements to our armaments and the sentinels themselves. You might even be able to make some brand new armaments on the fly. That's amazing, Okino. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I haven't even tested it yet. I didn't have a way to confirm it. But hey, no time like the present. So let's give it a try. I hope we don't break it. Select, have to, then press customize screen. One boy. Try unlocking a new armament and equipping it onto the Sentinel. And that would be either either one. He's a melee fighter type, so we'll give him. Have to be a level four for that. How much chips we got? Enough. Let's go. Any defense mode. Hey, now that will be useful. Rush attack enhance. Got to be careful how much I'd be wasting. Ooh, leap attack will, will definitely be good. 
Yeah, these guys have requirements to do all this stuff. This dumb stuff. This, all these stuff. I should be good. So this is another part of the meta systems? This is a really impressive find. You're telling me these sentinels can be even more powerful? Do we really have time for this? Um, I'm still not sure if I get it. Yeah, maybe this shit will make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah, let's get going. All right, 10 minutes on the clock. Wave one. May 27, 526 p.m. Activate Aegis or destroy all kaiju. The Herbano destroy or any pilot killed. It's do or die. Defenders and the attackers. Okay, let's figure this game out now that we got it. Focus. Where are the enemy at? That's what it is. What do I do? Gotcha. Go for it. I sent her off in a dead, in a deadly mission. Hey, can we move on to another person? Jeez, just mo move on to the next available character like you usually do. Well, you guys, well, you guys, getting ready for the next one. Even though it's just a PS4 exclusive, this would de this game, the, the way it plays, it makes great for the Switch. No matter how you look at it. Protecting you, buddy. The gameplay and everything, yeah, this makes great for the Switch. What's going on over there? Jeez. How, how, how's your range? You can't reach that far, Chief. Great. The practice round. Number 12, unbelievable. I'm acting like an... How do I... She's, she's in big t enemy territory. How's that? I got him! Enemies! What? What's 
spot next. I'll make it work. Stay calm. I can do this. Shield matrix on her, please. Thank you. I have to focus. Get over there, boy. Over to Knuckles. He can only reach that far. Damn, got you. Got it. We got, got one of them out. Next move. What's optimal? Stay on guard. Number 22. No. Advancing. Let's go, Natsuno. Gotta keep my spirits up. Number 17. Oh, 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 Go for it. How many down? What's a sentry gun? Who? Have another one. They're all in range. Go for it. Hit. Ouch. I it. What can I do? Actually move to the other side? That'd be great. That hit. Got him. What's optimal? The practice round's over. I deny you. I'll be needing oh, no. that. Oh, there's a time limit too as well. I guess life comes at you fast. They're finished. Go for it. Leap. Yes. Stay on. Ouch. Hard. Hard on. That easy. Stay calm. I can do this. Just keep protecting them while you're at it. Whoever's over there. Next, next, next. Please hit. She's running out of EP. Let's go, Natsuno. Go away. Get it. What next? These guys are eating it up. Yikes. Here's the plan. Whoa, what was that? Another one. I think that's all of them. Termination of enemy signals confirmed. All right, mission complete. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending technical analysis. that simple we wouldn't be struggling the aegis can't activate unless they get close enough to the terminal they're after the mainframe and the ufo underground their goal is to slip into terminals stationed in various positions across the ufo if they seize control of the mainframe our world is as good as gone our current situation demands a defensive approach to keep the terminals safe we have to rely on the aegis so what the best we can hope for is to keep this one thing safe. Makes it sound like we're getting the shit kicked out of us. It's true. All we can hope for is to protect it to the end. No more enemies, right?
Hmm, what's all this? Level up. MVP! Let's go. Oh, there is a level up system. Meanwhile, the defense squad is all in the bottom. Combo attacks, enemies defeated, total. Not bad, eh? S rank, not even bad. Mission results, city defense rate at 50% or higher, bonus objective cleared. Mystery points acquired. Okay. Alrighty then. We'll end right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, subscribe. In the next episode, we'll continue on where we left off with Homeboy Story. Shock is X Team, and I'm signing out.